why is it oh because you're black i'm like what the hell like is am i gonna have the shadow on me or that you big head blocking the no, hold on for a second oh so freaking hot it's summertime 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 again 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 hey yo it's summertime 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 Go tell your friends, we on the ends. Come in your bed, let's ride your bed. Guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. And I'm so excited about this one because I've had this one for a while. And I actually, um, I don't know, I got it like, I hope these lights aren't going to be freaking anybody because they are like blinking on and off. I don't know. Does it look, does it look okay blinking like that? Or is it look... Well, it, it looks okay there, but so I'm look I'm I've got another camera, so I'm not looking in the lens. I'm looking in the finder. So if you see me like looking over that way, don't think I'm crazy and I'm like. But um, yeah, because we're we're testing out a new camera of life's another toy of his. He's letting me borrow it, so. So I'm gonna make use of it. I mean, he has the equipment. I might as well use it. Usually, I form, I film on my iPhone, and it's really good. I mean, it's a really great camera. I have the iPhone 6s Plus, and it's really nice. But this time, I'm gonna be using. Um, I don't know what it is. I'm gonna have to link it below because it's his, his toy. Okay. So yeah, I'm coming at you with a, another wig review today. I'm bringing you this. Um, it's a lace front human hair blend wig by Bobby Boss, but it's called Mina. And I ordered it off of blackhairspray.com, which I will link below. But this is probably one of my favorites. Hashtag FRFR. Um, one of, of my uh, favorites. And the reason why is because that it looks so real on. And I'm gonna show you guys just how real, but this is how the wig comes. Actually, I've taken it out before. Um, usually there's um, some packaging that's inside the here to keep to keep the, the unit formed. And it they always come with a net on it. And, and I will be cutting off the lace as well. She comes without a part, but you can part it anywhere you want, middle side, wherever, because you've got enough lace here to do your thing. Okay, so let me just show you the lace. It's not really hard, hard lace. It's um, kind of soft lace. Uh, not coming because there, I better stay back a little bit. But just so you can see the lace here, see that? So I'm gonna be cutting that off. And let me show you the, the way the cap is, is made. It's really, really nice. You see that? That's really good structure. It's really nice structure. Bobby Boss came through on this one. The texture of it is beautiful. I love the texture. Look at the color. I got it, I got this one in an FS427. I love the colors on this wig. It has ear to ear lace, so lace going all the way around from one ear to the other. And it's got a lot of room there for you, like I said, for you to part it any way you want. I just want you to understand the texture of this wig. I mean, it, it, it looks like when I blow dry and flat iron my hair. That's exactly how it looks. It doesn't look really, really shiny. It may look really shiny on camera, but it does not in person. I mean, it's not wiggy looking at all. The texture is just gorgeous. And it's pretty long. It's about 20 inches long. It may be 24. But um, so it's a believable length. Once you put it on you, it looks like, you know, it could be your hair. And so I'm going to go ahead and cut the lace on this. And then I'll be right back to show you guys what um, Mina looks like on. And if you haven't ever seen anyone cut the lace on 
on it. Uh, maybe I'll maybe I'll show cutting the lace on camera as well, but I'm gonna have to speed it up because I don't know anybody trying to sit through the the time that it takes me to cut some lace because for real I am like this is how I am when I'm cutting the lace just to show you I'm like this <laughs> you know like trying to make sure that I can see and I don't cut the wig all up because like I'm really blind so <laughs> that's why I'd rather do it off camera but I may record it and then just let you guys kind of like just see for those who um aren't really familiar with cutting the lace off uh i might just go ahead and do it all right so i'll see you in a few try to cut the lace as close to the hairline as possible without cutting the hair and um, so that's what I was doing and um, I'm going to now um, I wanted to show you what it looks like without the lace you see the lace is all cut off uh, and now I'm going to show you what I do to prepare my hair it's no big deal um, I don't I don't have time to braid my hair down and do all that craziness unless I'm gonna be wearing this to uh, like all day at a at an event like a red carpet event then yes I would braid my hair down in like four braids going back so that it would have like a um, a, a smoother um, surface for the unit to be on but just for the camera and and normally on every day uh, when I wear the wigs on Wig Crush Wednesdays, what I normally do is uh, make a ponytail. And depending on what type of hair it is, like if it's um, a straight wig, uh, I will make the ponytail very, very low in the back. Some, some wigs that I have are short and um, cut in the back really high, like a wedge in the back. And so then I would make the ponytail a little bit higher on my head. But... For these that are um, fl uh, that are longer and straight or curly, it doesn't matter. But for the longer wigs that I own, I usually do like a double. Take the the um, little rubber band, not rubber band, but the elastic. M wrap it around once, and then the second time, wrap it around the rest of the hair and tuck it in. And I make like a little bun about this big. And sometimes I make the bun smaller because depending on if it's a um, straight hair, if it's a curly hair, it could be this big. But today it's a straight hair wig and I know it doesn't need to be this big back here, but um, I'm just trying to just give you guys a basic idea of how the wig looks on. I've got my ponytail, my low, low little bun in the back as you can see. And then I take my... Um, stocking cap and I put it on just like so and then I just tuck under everything in the back I try to tuck any spare hairs under in the back and on the sides I try to get everything in as, as much as possible and then I try and uh, do the same thing on the other side and then I tuck the stocking cap behind my ear okay now I've got it pulled down under you see that so it looks kind of it looks pretty flat back there all right so then what I do is just go ahead and and pull the cap back as far as possible uh, on my hairline I leave a little bit of my hairline out because we're gonna do some stuff with that you can do baby hair you can do all kinds of stuff like that so you need to leave a little bit of your your hairline uh, out from under your cap because especially if you're going to make a part in the wig. I'm not going to make a part, but I'm going to, because I want to show you guys um, all the different ways that Mina can be worn. But basically what I do is I kind of take the wig and I turn it, not inside out all the way, 
but the front I put it kind of like flipped up like that and then I go ahead and place my my I go ahead and place my head into the front of the wig and then I gently pull the back down and connect it the back comb underneath my little bun there it's kind of like my anchor bun but that's what I do and then you're good <laughs> no so what you're gonna have to do after you've placed under your anchor as I call it you're going to go ahead and make your adjustments in the front and I gently just pull back until I can um, get my hairline you know get a little bit of my hairline out there because I want a little bit of it out and I didn't bring my brush out here but um, and then you're gonna go ahead and connect the, the two combs that you have in the front you're gonna pull it down in front of your stocking cap to to anchor into your hair to your hairline there and do the same thing on the other side and now just make some more little adjustments and then you pretty much are ready to start styling this bad boy. But look at this Mina right here. I'm gonna have to go off camera so that I can just straighten my, my um, lineup. Because okay, so I'm not gonna do too much with the baby hairs because um, I just wanted you guys to see how pretty this is uh, on camera. But this is Mina and there's like barely any shedding on this wig. Um, I mean, it's not too much shedding on it, but I want you to know that once you've cut the lace on any of the wigs, there's usually a little bit of shedding where you cut around here. But this is it, this is Mina. And um, I like it. I love the color. This is how long it is. See how long she is. And this is how much comes in the front. The length and width. I love this color. And here, here you can see I've parted it on the side. It's like, it's very versatile. Um, you know, uh, Latina, naturally curly hair. And you did a blowout and a flat iron on it, and you come up with Mina. <laughs> color is 4MF126127. So now this one I've worn like a lot because um, I love it. It's fun. It's the light. It's more like my color. And so I'm going to put this one on so you guys can see how this one looks on me with the color with the color skin you see that it's light on top and then it goes to the dark wake up take a sip of ace of spade like it's water i've been on the mountain in the sand but your daughter if she gets me cheating i will never tell her sorry if she gets me cheating i will never tell her sorry pushes in the valley i got bendies i got robbers taking pain pills on the plane getting charged wear it for Wednesdays and that's it and then I get home and I just take it off but um, just so you can see the length of this one um, also in the back you see how long it is in the back mm -hmm. but yeah I wanted you to see here how I did the little bit darker because it is so so light here that you needed 
well, at least I needed to make it a little bit darker to blend in because I have dark roots. So, um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed um, my mm -hmm. wig review on the Bobby Boss uh, Mina unit. And I hope that you will look them up and take my word for it. These are um, fabulous, fabulous wigs. The blend, it's human hair blend. I, I think you will love it. Uh, they're so versatile like I said these two colors that I got I think I love 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 because I'm gonna get a lot of use out of these and I mean I've bought some wigs that I've only worn like one time for wig crush Wednesday and never put them on my head again but um, these two are two that I will definitely be wearing often and um, again I got them from blackhairspray.com and there's several places that you can get Bobby Boss. So you can go right to Bobby Boss um, website and get it directly from them. But yeah, uh, look, it's just like no tangles, um, minimal shedding. The texture is, is wonderful. The colors that they have to choose from are great. They have one on there that's like a gray that I would like to purchase next. Um, but we'll see. <laughs> So I've been watching that it's always like sold out so I've been watching it though so you guys I love you guys I hope you like my reviews make sure that if that you like subscribe and comment and make sure you hit the little bell down there that way you can be notified whenever I post up a new video and that way you can be my besties you can be my best friends knowing what when I what I do uh, before anybody else okay so yeah, make sure that you tune in to everywhere. Follow me everywhere at On Point Summer. Um, and I will definitely follow you back. And thanks to everyone who tunes in and watches me with my crazy self. Um, I really love you guys. I appreciate you, your support and, and your following. Oh, and also on the, my other playlist under the On Point with Summer show and see all of my interviews there and all of the behind the scenes um, at events and concerts and all the red carpet events that that I've done you can see those on the other on the um, Play other playlist of mine. So make sure you check that out and continue to watch the vlogs. I love you guys <laughs>